you know, sometimes your body can talk louder than your spirit. I wish I could talk to somebody in here today. Amen. You ought to tell your body, I need you to talk more quietly. Amen. I'm trying to get this spirit to holler out in the middle of my trial. Amen. Amen. And, and this is why, you know, when we talk about this passage, you know, uh, growing up, we read the King James Version and it always said, blessed is the one. Right. And, and, and when you read the, 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 the earliest manuscripts and the Hebrew, uh, you find that this word blessed and happy are interchangeable throughout the earliest of the text. And it it made me think of my work that I did while I was in seminary with St. Augustine. And, you know, I like to quote Augustine and a lot of the patristic fathers and mothers earlier in the first century because I find that they have some very interesting reflections that are very relevant to us today. Because just like us today, they were followers of Jesus living in an empire-like situation. They were followers of Jesus who were living under the auspices of a nationalistic uh, government that thought that the highest expression and identity was to be Roman or was to be Greek or was to be a part of this particular cultural space. But Augustine would arise through that culture and find himself in such a precarious space that he would begin to write and say things like, my heart will never be at rest until it finds its rest in God. I mean, what does it mean for someone like Augustine and many of us to have reached some of the highest uh, spaces and places of, 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 of achievement and, and, and to have outlasted some of the most difficult seasons of our lives and still be mindful that God, in spite of it all, I am cognizant that unless I squarely find my rest in you, that all the achievements I have on my wall, all of the testimonies and stories that I've had of making it through, they mean very little unless I can stay in an equilibrium of rest and fellowship with God. And I want you to know, child of God, that it is important for you and I to keep reminding ourselves, Lord, how can I find happiness in your will? How can I find an equilibrium in your purpose? What does it mean for me to not find the, 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 the topsy-turvy, the tumult of life? To continuously push me off of my place where you have desired me to find happiness and blessedness in you. And I want you to be a child of God who believes that in spite of what you're going through, you can find blessedness in your circumstance.